are unboxing our new aluminum valve cover for our 6.7 liter Cummins. It's a 2009 Dodge Ram 3500 Mega Cab. We'll go ahead and take a look and see what we got. Parts in the box here. Looks like we have our hoses, fittings clamps. Okay. And then here we go. fingerprints here and there but we'll get those all cleaned up and we'll be go ahead and uh, getting that install done here this weekend so stay tuned uh, within about one day you're gonna see it on the truck Hello everyone, so today we're going to be installing a new aluminum valve cover uh, from Speed Lab. it's a new product. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, picking this one apart here, um, probably go through some uh, sped up footage here just so you don't have to sit through the entire process. Alright so I gathered a few tools here to get ready for it. Um, so we're going to be taking these bolts off, they're 8mm, um, excuse uh, the sweat. We are in South Florida here. It's like a hundred thousand degrees out. Humidity is like 100%. And uh, doing this in our driveway here. So I'll get started on uh, getting this thing apart. Okay. So you see, this is a little old beat up right here. Um, got my breather on here. Um, this actually was also from Speed Lab. Um, I just got an Evil Energy uh, breather. That off to the side. Um, then we have this right here. Comes out. Crankcase breather. A um, little oily. And you get to the meat of it right here. Um, so we have the two bolts here. Two bolts here two bolts in the back okay um, gonna have to disconnect this right here um, that's gonna be coming off with it little bolt right there um, other than that um, we'll get on at it one thing I'm definitely gonna do I'm gonna put this cap back on just in case I don't want any dirt bolts anything falling in there an accident uh, be a big pain big pain in the butt
right. All right, back at it. Had to take a short break. My camera actually overheated and I cannot get it to turn back on after several hours of trying to recharge it and cool it down. So I'm switching over cameras here. Um, this is the valve cover. Check that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and get back at it. Oh, here is also a little better view of the truck. And there's a little sticker bomb wrap Miata. And then we have the STI over there. But we'll get to that stuff later. So for now, we have the valve cover and it's stock. Definitely had a bunch of oil in it. <clears throat> oh, what I was saying before, the camera shut off. That sticker right there um, it has the valve lash on it and also has the engine number. From what everybody's saying online, keep that number. So if you ever need parts, you just call the engine number and they can give you exactly what you need. Um, you don't have to worry about VIN number and all that stuff. Supposedly the engine number is better. So here is the top end of the motor. Um, that little bank's cover right there usually goes right there if you're keeping the other part, but I just wanted to add something in there to make it look a little different. All right, guys, I'm back. Super tight fit. Uh, trying to get it on here with that um, heat shield insulation up on the firewall there. So, gotta be real careful putting it in, feed it in nice and slow. You gotta manipulate it, move it around. Because I have these bypass, all these things in here. I don't wanna have to disconnect that and then you have to worry about air in the coolant system. So, push up on this. Wiggle it in. Falls into place right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, bolts put in. The kit, you get these Allen bolts. Good and start feeding them by hand. torque down I temporarily here I don't have my catch can yet so I just put my old breather filter on right there so you can see um, that'll be a, a temporary fix until I get my catch can and then I'll be routing those lines and getting all that stuff taken care of but uh, I just want to get all my sweat and all that off of Valve cover. Back bolts are definitely a pain to get to. Be prepared for it. So the last thing I'll have to do is really just start it up. A lot of idle, operating temp, all that see uh, make sure that there's no leaks around this valve cover gasket but other than that it seems like it looks pretty good here we're gonna finish up these lines on the side um, the feedback down into the block i'll get that um, fitting put on that one there and get that taken care of but other than that looks pretty slick beautiful product